for company. He did that well. Doherty, what about this story? Hey, for Mackay to get his hands on the ball. They need to get him into the game, but then the finish from Doherty. If there's a bloke that the Carlton support is going to get behind, it's this bloke. What he's been through, and look at the players get around him. What a stuff. This is a guy I want to talk about now. This is, I don't know what you label him. He's just a champ. Sam Doherty. That's that's the man. Sam the man. Um, 17th of October, 1993. That means he's 30 years old in his dirty 30s. 167 games. Has assumed the role, I would say, of Cade Simpson. Just the mm. spiritual one that we... I think Cripps has a little bit of it as well. Yep. But Doc, I don't know him day to day personally as a man. Like I've met him a few times and he's, you know, but I feel so connected to him. And I think we all do. Yeah. What we've been through sort of together with someone who we watch play footy every week. It's a really interesting relationship with him. And it's just all love. It just radiates every time I think about him or watch him play. There will be no other player come that grand final day when we finally win a flag number 17 with this list there will be no louder a roar and no uh amount of buckets to catch the tears falling from all of our faces when they announce number 15 sam doherty and he gets up there and he gets his medal at mate he defines like you spoke about simo but I think Doc's taken it to another level. Like we've had, we've had some heart and soul players across the years, Simo, Cruiser, and whatnot in our generation. But I think Doc, it, it's so far beyond heart and soul. Like it's a joke. It, I think we we still take for granted how much he went through and came back without missing a step. He did not miss a yeah. step. No, like didn't. mate, it, it's it, it's insane. It's it is he insane didn't. the level that he returned to as quickly as he did. So yeah. Uh, uh, there's not much to say about Doc. What do you say? What what do you say at this point? There was a moment in the semi-final. Obviously, he hurt his shoulder. I was sitting level two, sort of right above where it happened. And I remember thinking in the moment, oh, oh wow. Well. It's just one of those things. It's not our year. We're not meant to win this game. Doc's about to go off, and that's his that's his season done. And I said the word divine intervention that night a lot of times. And mm-hmm. a lot of people think it's because of that Acres goal. But it was like Doc, his ability to just, no matter what, that, that shoulder could have been broken, shattered. He would have come back on. Um, and I think it was poetic that and he if kicked he, the ball hey, inside 50. Not even that. He set up the Motlop goal just prior as well. So if he's not there, the last two goals of the game that we kick in that semi to win the game, if he's mm-hmm. not there in that position, may not ever happen. Which is yeah. crazy to think, and yeah. it was it was literally on a knife's edge. His, his shoulder was hanging out of its socket. We all saw it. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's that is that's poetic. That shit to go back. He has a way of popping up in critical moments. First goal of the final series for the club after how long we were out of out of finals. It's him. Um, kicks those long goals. You know, round one against Richmond, I remember 2022, kicks long goals. He kicked a kicked a goal against the Lions in the prelim, which got us up and about. That's where mm-hmm. I actually thought we were making the grand set final. Up, set up Cotters, set up the opener as well. Mm-hmm. Handball block. Like he's he he he's finding his way into these scenarios, which we never really saw with Doc because he was an interceptor, right? He was off half back and he sat deep and he was usually that sort of quarterback with from the back half of the field. But now that he's pushed further up the ground. He's having massive impact in the forward half, like a huge impact in in big, big moments. Yeah. Let's unpack that. So I th- I think with Doc, what we are going to see, what are just reading between the lines of little snippets here, I don't know if we look at him anymore as a player in the back seven in 2024. We lost a couple in the midfield who were traded or removed from the list. We've brought in a couple of youngsters He's Doc a midfielder now, full stop. I mean, he can do it. He can go anywhere. And if we need him behind the ball, we can put him there. But I feel like we start 2024 with Doc as a midfielder. Mm. When you say midfielder, though, what what role are you thinking? 
So the rotation that you see Cottrell play on the wing, maybe rest forward a little bit. Um, I feel like I saw Doc creeping forward more and more as that back part of the year got to us. Maybe that was because we were missing Sam Walsh for a period of it, but it, I feel like they were experimenting with him mid forward more than what they were defender midfielder. Yeah, they definitely did. I mean, I, I think he's definitely going to, we're going to see him a lot more in the midfield for sure. Um, I've got a slightly different, different philosophy and I, I feel like, I feel like he still needs to be that wing defender for us. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not so obviously we just said that he can have massive impact in the front half of the ground. We've seen it. Like he when he floats forward and through the midfield, and that's fine. If that's that's a role that that he's gonna play, I'm I'm more than comfortable. But um he's just so reliable behind the ball. Like and now the way that we structure up and our defensive style and the philosophy around all of that, I still think he adds a lot of value behind the footy. Like so defense into midfield rather than midfield forward. Um, oh, there's so many, there's so many situations he's gotten us out of behind the footy that I, I just, I don't know if I've got that trust yet in a back six or seven without him. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. I, I think no matter where he plays, he will always be behind the footy. So if it's in the midfield, he will be that defensively minded midfielder. If he's in the half forward line, he will be at the back of stoppage. Mm. Um, yeah, because it's, of probably more so, it's probably more so like the role Newman played for us throughout the year. That's that's So sitting at the back of the stoppage going forward, that there for me would be a perfect role for Doc to play. I think that's that's A1. Yeah, um, yeah if, if that's what you're sort of saying, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, with Williams coming in, to that he's definitely going to be in that back six, back seven. Um, and with the tricks that we saw Doc show us in the final series, yeah, there's well, what it does tell us is there's flexibility amongst them all. Because yep. you mentioned Newman, he's definitely one that started pushing up in the latter parts of the season a little bit more. Um, we know Saad does it already, Williams will come in, we know he'll do it already. Um, Doc is a I just get the sense that there's a there's a a new layer to the way he's going to be performing in 24 and a new way that he's going to be performing his role more than anything. Yep, for sure. For sure. Mm. So, yeah, equality. Doherty did do that on occasion. It was mostly Newman, but he was the extra pair of hands a few times. Yeah. It's number 15, Sam Doherty lifting up the cup. Can't be doing that, mate. Man, I shaved my head. We yes. all like we shaved our people, heads. Yeah, a lot of people did. We donated. Like there was that was unifying. That that yeah. there united the club before all of this stronger together stuff. True. Like that was that was the turning point. Was you know what? Like I don't know. It just it, it, that that put a lot into perspective for me as a fan of this club. Yeah. Like as bad as it got on field in that in that few months, it was like fuck. Like this guy's a like he's human, and like we love this bloke. And yeah, it was unifying. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, when yeah. we talk about, you know, the essence of the Carlton Football Club and what makes Carlton so special, there's so many examples that come to my mind. But the Doc, shave, um, shave your head for Doc period is what separates us from most clubs, the way yeah. we got around that and the yeah. noise we made around that. Um, I am the most vain human when it comes to hair. I would never shave my head, ever. <laughs> but it wasn't a question when it came to doing it for Doc. It wasn't even like, oh, you know, it might look like this. No, nah, got to do it. Yeah. So that's Sam Doherty. We love him. We're looking forward to, you know, seeing out this latter part of his career because that's ultimately what it is and you can't take him for granted. But those of you watching at home, how do you see Sam Doherty's role in 2024? Do you see it evolving or do you see it being much of what we've already come to to expect? Let us know in the comments. Yeah. <laughs>